Hi, I'm Colin from ECS Tuning, and today I'm going to show you how to install the ECS Complete Sway Bar Kit. You see, stock cars are designed more for comfort rather than performance. The stock sway bar is thinner, and it'll actually flex a lot more to give you a softer ride when you're going around corners. Our new ECS Complete Sway Bar Kit is made from a thicker metal, which keeps both the tires planted and gives you more traction when you're going around a corner more aggressive. This is the ECS Complete Sway Bar Kit. It comes with a new rear sway bar, a new front sway bar, new front sway bar brackets and bushings, subframe spacers, new subframe bolts, and dog bone mount bolts. To properly install this kit, these are the tools you're going to need. A torque wrench, a socket wrench, an 18, 16, and 13 millimeter socket, an M10 and an M6 triple square bit, a Schwaben 6 millimeter Allen, a 17 and a 16 millimeter box wrench. To start off this installation, we're going to remove the four 13 millimeter socket bolts that hold in the sway bar. Now with your 17mm box wrench and your M6 triple square bit, we're going to loosen up the links for the sway bar. Now we're going to take out the two 16 millimeter bolts that hold in the dog bone. Now I'm removing the rear bolt for the dog bone mount to release it from the subframe. Before you start unloosening any bolts to the subframe, be sure that you reinforce it with a jack or a block of wood or something to keep it from falling. Next I'm going to remove the two 18mm bolts to hold the subframe into the frame rail behind the wheels. Now we have to loosen the four 18 millimeter bolts that hold the subframe to the frame. We're not going to remove them, but we are going to try to create about a quarter to a half inch gap here to help us remove the sway bar. Start by going around and loosening them all evenly. In order to get the subframe all the way down, we're going to remove these 13 millimeter bolts that the exhaust hangers push into. One key thing to remember is, before you can actually get the sway bar off, you're going to need to take the brackets off too. Now before
before you install your new sway bar, you have to note that there's a hump right here for the power steering rack, and that goes on the passenger side of the car. Before you install your new brackets to your bushings, you have to take note of a few things. One side of the upper bracket has wider tabs, and one side has smaller tabs. You want to make sure the side with the smaller tabs matches the bottom that has the smooth bottom. The other side with the bump will match the side with the larger tabs. When you install this bracket onto the car, make sure that the side with the smooth bottom and the small side tabs are facing the outside of the car. If you install it on backwards, this bump is going to hit the stop at the end of the sway bar and you'll have road noise. It may be easier for you to install the bracket in the middle of the sway bar and then slide it down to position when you're done. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the stock sway bar bolts back into their position. Before we bolt the subframe back up, we're going to put these subframe spacers in. Be sure when you install them, the tabs are facing down and towards the back of the car. Now we're ready to start putting in the rest of our bolts to the subframe. Start from the inside with your two main bolts that have the spacers and work your way out. Now I'm not tightening them, I'm just getting them snug, that way we can torque them when I'm done. With all the bolts snug, we're going to go ahead and tighten them down with a torque wrench to 81 foot-pounds. Start in and work your way out. Now we're going to reinstall our two 13 millimeter bolts that hold the exhaust hanger bracket. Next we're going to reinstall our dog bone mount.
now we're gonna reinstall our nuts that hold in the sway bar links to the sway bar. With your sway bar link ends connected, we're done with the front and it's time to move to the back. To start off this installation, first take your 16 millimeter wrench and your M6 triple square bit and remove the sway bar end links. Next, we have four M10 triple square bits we need to take out. There's two on each side of the sway bar, and once those are out, we should be able to remove the bar quite easily. With the sway bar unbolted, all you have to do is work it around the exhaust and it come right out. Now we can go ahead and take the brackets off our stock sway bar because we will reuse them on a new one. Now go ahead and push your stock brackets over your new bushings on your new sway bar. Now it's time to install the rear sway bar. Before you put it in, make sure that these tabs are aiming forward towards the front of the car. First thing we're gonna do is line up our holes with the brackets and get those started.
finally we have to reinstall our rear sway bar links. With your sway bar end links tightened up, that completes the installation for the ECS Complete Sway Bar Kit.